ladies and gentlemen, we are in a deep solar minimum, but the sun has been showing signs of waking up. Now I want you to direct your attention over here. You can see what is looks like a sun diving comet. There it is. Did you see it? It was right over there. It was short lived and then the sun zapped it. But more importantly, as we're looking for signs that the sun is waking up, boom! That is a big solar minimum. Coronal mass ejection. So that is exciting. That is the biggest coronal mass ejection I have seen in a while. So, you know, the solar minimum maximum cycle lasts about 11 years. And we are waiting any day now for the sun to wake up. I predicted we would see signs that it is waking up in July. And I would guess that would be like a X-class solar flare. I could be wrong. It could go as light, late. Look at that, though. That thing is beautiful. It could go as late as December before we see it wake up. But, you know, the sun pretty consistently goes in 11-year cycles. Strangely enough, Jupiter's orbit is 11 years. We are going to have to be checking in. I can't say specifically if that is or is not Earth-directed. It seemed to have a tiny bit of a halo effect, but I will wait for the super experts to figure out if that is going to have any Earth-directed components. It did look pretty big, though. That's what she said. And so, let's see if we can spot the little comet flying in. But that's a pretty impressive coronal mass ejection. It does look like it has halo components. But so we get the one from the 6th that is tailing out that you can see flying out. And then we get one on the 9th, which would be today. So that just happened a little while ago. So hopefully you are getting a good burst of energy because empires fall apart during solar minimums and deep solar minimums. And then society and civilization rises during solar maximums. And so, you know, that's... One of the reasons that I am definitely looking forward to and hoping for a really cool and interesting solar maximum. Here we've got super cool industrial engineer Irene Quiorez. The Lasco C2 images show us a CME, which means coronal mass ejection. Because the sun spits out hot lava fire plasma and stuff, magnetics, light. You name it, the sun is like a stellar furnace where it takes in all the stuff around it and then it spits it back out as like space birds and cool stuff. And so we can see it does look like it would have a halo effect. Will it affect Earth? I will have to check the Enlil a little later. It will definitely be interesting to see, but it looks like there's a possibility. And so that is exciting. And we are also watching Tropical Storm Fay. You can see the little bird almost inside of it. See that? Hello, birdie. I call them sunbirds. You can call them whatever you want to. Here's the deal, man. When the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and then people freaking lose their minds. Um, and so, we are watching the sun start to wake up, act a little freaky diggy, and get a little more active every single day. And so, you know, it's life. Everybody's an expert on everything nowadays. Look at that lift off. From that, I would guess it's not going to have Earth-facing components. Would you see our little black box down here? But it's like, look, man, everybody's an expert on everything. You got people telling you that they know exactly what the sun is going to do, and the sun isn't going to do much over the next 15 years. I disagree with that. I think nobody knows what the sun is going to do next. And coincidentally, those same people are a lot of the people who are telling you that QAnon was going to have mass arrests, that Hillary Clinton was going to jail, and... 400 people were going to jail and it's like 3.8 years later and that didn't pan out either and and i don't see any many ice age they're like oh yeah that's showing up 15 years from now so it's weird to be selling something that's going to happen 15 years from now but i don't know man space weather is like a battleground it's just little old me little old star lord new thor 7 versus like a giant group of people who are saying they know everything about everything and that's exciting to me. So I love a good scrap. It's a do, it's a do, it's a do. Look at that little thing right there going, hello. Yay. 
So, man, I'm just tracking things down. Well, the sun is shaking. Maybe it's going through withdrawals. Maybe due to supply shortages, it is not getting it. It's medicine that it needs. And so it's freaking out a little, you know. It skits in a bit. And so the sun is still sun spotless at the moment. Will she wake up soon? Will she blast all the new diseases and plagues away with her magical cosmic rays? Stay tuned, my friends. Yeah, I'm a real American. So I think it is okay to have your own opinion on subjects as magical, as mystical, as unknown, and as sciencey as the sun. You know, but the hive mind disagrees. Can you see that little shadow that's like rolling across the sun? That's weird. I've never seen that before. The sun will surprise you, man. And I also think that you can't... Do you see that? Look at that thing rolling around it. That's wild. And the sun is a bit jittery, just like a soul. And I don't think that past sun performance dictates future sun performance. For example, if a woman has gone... 30 years without getting pregnant, that doesn't mean she'll never get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And the sun is supposedly 3.8 billion years old. And so if we only have a 400 year look back at the solar sunspot cycles, um, that is a tiny sliver of the sun's lifespan. So it's like judging a human being. Look at that. That's wild. And the sun's acting weird. It's like judging, judging a human being by, like, if you judge a human being for, like, three days of its life, that means you knew, know what it did in the past, and you know what that human being is going to do in the future. The suns are a lot like humans, but totally different. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, I am your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord Nuthor 7 the T, and I'll take on all hive minds that come my way, because I love doing this, and I'm very excited about Solar Maximum, which is headed our way. When is it going to get here? I don't know. I guess July, but I could be wrong. You know, some people make guesses, and then they're wrong. And I will admit when I am wrong. That's one thing that's cool about me, man. And I just, I'm so mystified by the sun. It, you know, if you watch the sky and everything in life, things are changing. It is like we're going from 3D to 5D to 7D. Although some people are getting left behind, it would seem. You can see the, the ejection blow off. Yeah, I don't think it's going to have earth-facing components. Could be wrong about that, too. It just doesn't look like it, you know what I'm saying? I love you. Well, how did you get so cute? It must be your good heart and your good spirit and your good soul. You see one? Look at that there. Bloom. That's yeah, a pretty big CME, dude. All right, so everybody stay cool. Have a great day, and I'll be talking to you all in the future. Peace out. God bless everyone. Let's live long and prosper together, and may the force be with you always.